I am so excited for this video. Okay, so this is how my hair looks right now. It was a look when I did it newly, but it's due for a touch up. And instead of refreshing it, I'm thinking of doing something completely drastic. And I definitely know I want to color all my hair one color. So that's what we're doing today. It's gonna be something that I've never done before. So today I'm gonna be coloring my hair like a vermilion orange slash auburn red hair let's get started so these are all the things that i bought from sally's beauty the color i used was the l'oreal high color highlights i got two in copper and one in red these are for dark hair only and it's a one step high lift color think of it like bleach mixed with the color you don't have to separately bleach your hair because my hair is a little dark i went for a 30 volume developer and i also got this color protected serum which smells like the best hair product i have ever tried i'm not even joking the amount of compliments i've got because of this yeah so i'm starting off by detangling my hair just combing through and making sure there are no knots i have some clips and some rubber bands just so i can part my hair and put it aside so because my hair is two different colors the bottom is pink I'm gonna be using that as my differentiator first. So I'm just moving that out of the way because I'm gonna do that area last since it's already light. And because I'm doing like an orange red color, the pink is just gonna merge in. So I don't need to really use a color remover as such. So once that's out of the way, then I'm gonna further divide my top hair, which is all one color. So I'm gonna have two sections on the side. Now I'm gonna pour everything into my plastic cup. These tubes are 1.2 ml and I'm gonna be pouring 2.4 ml of the 30 volume developer. Okay, let's do some math. I literally used a calculator for this. So three tubes is 3.6 ml and 2.4 ml of the 30 volume developer for each tube equals to 7.2 ml. So I bought the 8 ml bottle from Sally's Beauty and I approximately poured the entire bottle leaving like a really tiny amount in the end. Once that was done, I mixed it all together. Make sure to really mix it well. Even though you should be really quick with this because once you have removed it and mixed it, it's kind of like activated. So I was trying to be really fast with it, but also leave no lumps, which is very important. And I then realized that I forgot to buy gloves. First time I'm using like professional color instead of a box dye. So I totally didn't think of that because usually you get gloves with the box dye. But either way, I knew things were gonna get messy. Um, with my hands this color was not very pigmented so I was lucky that way even though I took big sections because I wanted to be really fast with it uh, I made sure that each strand is saturated as much as I can get it I did watch a lot of YouTube videos before this and especially Brad Mondo videos so your head has natural heat which is why the roots develop faster so I left like an inch or maybe a little more than an inch from my scalp and covered the rest with color first. The first was the dark hair that I colored. I covered it with a plastic bag and left it on for like 10 minutes or so before I, I went in on my roots and then I went in on the pink hair which was the lightest. After that everything was covered and I left that on for a total of 45 minutes. That's it. I washed it with normal shampoo and conditioner, put the serum after I came out of the shower and dried my hair. And here is how it turned out. This hair color is such a vibe. One of my friends mentioned the animated character Ariel. It definitely stands out in the crowd. I love that I did not get any hot roots. Everything is even. Of course, the color which I had before is a little brighter, but I don't mind it. It actually looks quite seamless. So overall, I love how it turned out. I'm super happy. Make sure you subscribe, give this video a big like, and also comment below your thoughts. Bye!